Now remember, say it and move it goes like this. The teacher says the word, the student says the word. So let's write down the word. The teacher says the word pat. Then the student says the word pat. Then the student uses those counters and they, they move the counters into the uh, sound boxes to isolate the phonemes. They're like p, a, t, and then they blend it together. So say the movement, the teacher says it, the student says it. The student segments the sounds and then they blend them together. Now, so far, that is all about um, so phoneme segmentation, right? And blending. Now, when we add in spell it, now what we're doing is we're helping the student take sounds, or we say phonemes, and match them up with letters. Or in this case, uh, we're going to call those graphemes or spelling patterns. So now we're taking sounds, matching up with their correct spelling patterns. We're doing uh, sound, phoneme, grapheme, correspondence, or mapping. We're basically, we're doing practicing spelling. We're matching sounds with the correct spelling patterns. You see that? <clears throat> and then the student, after they do that, then they, then, they, then they write it out one more time. Pat. Okay. So there, this is an activity, say, it, move it, spell it, write it, where it really reinforces that, that uh, segmenting sounds, blending the sounds, and then matching the sounds with the correct spelling patterns. Now, let's say you had a student that was really having difficulty with decoding. Like they, they have a word like street. And they when they pronounce the word, they're pronouncing it steet, right? Or maybe they're doing uh, something else, but they're, they're omitting sounds in that word. So this activity could be used uh, to one, explicitly help them identify how many phonemes they hear in street. S t r e t and then help them match up each sound with its letter, with its letter uh, correspondence or graphing correspondence, right? So in that way there, this could be an activity that could really help them with, with especially with blends. If you see a student that's dropping a sound in a blend, this could be a really helpful activity to help them hit all the sounds in the word and help them not just with their spelling, but also with their decoding, right? because we're practicing letter sound correspondence, we're doing that phoneme grapheme uh, mapping, it's gonna reinforce spelling and decoding, okay? All right, so with that in mind, knowing that this now be becomes a, a really new and helpful activity for uh, helping a student with letter sound cor correspondence and sound letter correspondence um, or decoding and encoding,